Hey guys, it's Jasmina with Custom Iron Ons. I wanted to just give you a really quick tutorial on how to make some really great mock-ups to sell your product. Um, so I downloaded this folder from Etsy from Styled Mockups. Um, I'll post the link in the description where you can buy it. But as soon as you open it up in Photoshop, this is what you'll see. Um, so it's just an instruction here. So we're just gonna close that out. You can go over to your layers panel. If you can't find your layers panel, automatically go up to Windows, Layers, or F7 on your keyboard. Anyways, um, we're just gonna go over here and we're going to turn it off just by pressing the eyeball. So there are your cups. Uh, just a quick tutorial here on layers in case you don't know. Um, but this file is set up with three different layers, a left, a right, and a middle. And we're going to toggle through each of these um, just so you can see what's inside. It, it looks complicated, but it really isn't. You only need one spot. So let's um, hit the down arrow here. And what that's going to do, it's going to expand everything that's inside of it. These are different highlights. If you look on the left, you can see, um, you know, it's turning things off and on. You know, perhaps you don't like the shading of it. Um, you know, you can turn metal on on a straw you can change the straws there's different options here so it's just a matter of hitting the eyeball on and off okay so let's go to inserting our picture so we're in the left and we're just going to scroll down until we see this red area here now if you don't see this red area with this image um, you may just have to press the down arrow on the left um, but we want to look for this red indicator on this file okay so let's open that up and we're going to double click on where it says image with the eyeball and we're going to insert our photo so a new window opens up and there's this blue line here for a center and what we're doing here is we're inserting a photo here we're saving it and then it'll appear here okay so i go up to file hit file placed and i'm going to go find um the file that i want to um show so i'm going to insert that here and it's a little bit small so I'm just going to stretch it up to the edges. It's important because this basically is the placemat of the image so it's going to show right to the edge of the design so you want to make sure that this is um, stretched out so I guess I have to do that again because I didn't hit enter. So let's place it again let's stretch that out and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and that places it and I'm going to go control on the keyboard and S for save, or you can go file save up at the top and it's saving. You can see it's updating the smart object. Okay, and once that's done, voila, we got it on the first template. So now you can repeat that process um, for each of these tabs here. And, you know, go down to the middle, find the red, um, open it up, double click, insert it. But there's a there's a, a quick kind of shortcut here for you. So I'm just going to toggle the left again, and I'm going to go and find my paint bucket with the eyedropper. Okay. And I'm going to click that. And what you want to do is essentially you're taking a copy of this and you're going to paste it on the other two sides. So if you hit alt, you're going to get an alt on eyedropper and you want to, while you're holding alt, click it. So now you've actually taken a sample of that first tumbler. So let's go over to the layers. And let's toggle our middle one. Okay, so this is going to tell the program like, hey, we're working on this middle one now. All we have to do is go over to the middle, click with your mouse once, and it will drop the middle part of the image onto the cup for you. Okay, now let's scroll down to the right, and we're going to find the red eyeball, and we're going to drop it down again. I'm going to hit image. Oh, sorry, no, we're just going to toggle the layer. Okay. I may have opened that. Oh, I didn't open that. Okay, and then click over here again. And it should drop the right side. There it goes. Okay, and now if you wanted to add a little bit more to this, I always add a background to my design. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll see an area where it says place your background here. So I just toggle that and I'm gonna insert a photo of a background. And it shows up like this. So let's stretch this out to um you know the size that we need here it doesn't really matter i kind of like showing the depth of the wood in mine okay so it's there hit enter there you go you've got a background you want to add your logo um you want to think of layers as a stack of papers 
So whatever's on top of all of these layers is what's going to show first. So that's why we're putting our background down at the bottom so that it shows in the back. If you want to put your logo, you know, in the corner, you know, you just file, place your logo and you want it at the top so it shows up at the front here, you know, just by highlighting and clicking things go away. So you can see the highlights are going away and put a metal top on if you'd like. There's lots of things that you can do here. I hope this helped everybody. Have fun. Be creative. Have a good day.